Hello, my tipsters. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Daily Tips with Monica. I appreciate you guys for coming on to this premiere. I appreciate you guys' love and support. Um, happy Monday. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, let's get back to work. So um, I hope this week be a positive week for you. No hurt, harm, or danger comes to any of you or your family members. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much again. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with the devotion. Taking the initiative against depression. That is the daily devotion. Arise and eat. First King 19 and 5. The angel in this passage did not give Elijah a vision or explain the scriptures to him or do anything remarkable. He simply told Elijah to do a very ordinary thing. That is to get up and eat. If we were never depressed, we would not be alive. Only material things don't suffer depression. If human beings were not capable of depression, we would have no capacity for happiness and exaltation. There are things in life that are designed to depress us. For example, things that are associated with death. When you examine yourself, always take into account your capacity of depression. When the Spirit of God comes to us, He does not give us glorious visions, but He tells us to do the most ordinary things imaginable. Depression tends to turn us away from the everyday things of God's creation, but whenever God steps in, His inspiration is to do the most natural, simple things, things we would never have imagined God was in. But as we do them, we find Him there. The inspiration that comes to us in this way is an initiative against depression. But we must take the first step and do it in the inspiration of God. If, however, we do something simply to overcome our depression, we will only deepen it. But when the Spirit of God leads us instinctively to do something, the moment we do it, the, the depression is gone. As soon as we arise and obey, we enter a higher plane of life. So, are we? Uh, it, the, it is speaking about depression. Many of us guys, we we all have dealt with some form of depression when it comes to certain situations in life. Um, or you can be depressed about, you know, some people going, some people. Um, uh, you know, have to take medicine to deal with their depression. Um, and as well, we get boggled down in things in life that can cause us to be depressed, like the passing of a family member, your mom, your father. That can cause us to be depressed. Because, you know, one thing about having your parents here, it's a sense of security for you. But what this devotion is saying, you have to get that sense of security from God that if they do pass away, you still have God. You still have God. Even when you're feeling down and depressed, God will move, remove. You have to ask God. You can't remove the depression on your own. You're going to have to pray to God and ask God to help you move that depression or that depression feeling from your body. Yes, it is, you know, we do get down in the dumps and feel like, you know, we can't overcome things in life, especially when you get depressed because you feel like ain't no, nothing is going your way and everything is just bad and you get deep down and depressed and you don't want to eat, you don't want to, you don't want to do nothing, you just want to lay in the bed all day. But what this is saying is you got to rise up. You got, like they say, rise up and eat. So rise up. And take back your life. Rise up and know that you're going to be okay. Put your hands in God's hands and fight for your life. I understand that, you know, things can occur in your life that can bring you down and make you feel depressed. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
but we have to learn how to uh, give that to God and live, try to live our life and live our life and live it the way that he wants us to live. Uh, we can't let things get us down. Like they say, you can dwell on it for a little while, but don't stay on it forever. So we need to make sure that we are not, we are giving, we, we, uh, if we are be, becoming depressed, that we are giving, um, we are taking the initiative against depression. So if you feel someone is in your family that is depressed, be that person that they can talk to about their problem and have no judgment. See, sometimes we have judgment and that what causes people to not want to come to us and talk. So um, we have to learn that um, we sometimes people just want us want to want us to listen and not speak. Because that's what, basically, that's what praying to God is all about. Praying is to God. God speaks to us in his spirit. But what I'm saying is when we're praying to him, he listens and he don't speak. And sometimes that's how we have to do when we're dealing with people that are depressed and need someone to talk to. We have to listen and don't speak. So I hope you guys got something out of this devotion. If you ever want me to send a devotion, you can email me. Um, that was a good devotion because I know a lot of times, uh, we do become depressed and our mind do become boggled down with things. So we don't want to become depressed and down and dumb. We have to give that stuff to God. We do have to give that to God and fight against it. Um, what we're going to talk about today, guys, is what we're going to talk about today is uh, to how to tips on how to, to accept your reality. Um, having to accept the reality of your life it sounds so easy, but many people hold on to their own version of their reality. It sometimes can be based on regrets, being disappointed, being in denial, or just waiting for something or someone to do better. Here are some tips that can help you to accept your reality. The first thing is accept yourself. Be able to accept everything about yourself. This means you will acknowledge all the good and the things you all the good and bad things and the things you no, I'm sorry, all the good you have done and the things you need to work on. From for some of us, being able to accept ourselves can be so hard. We are more critical of ourselves than most people are to us. But you have to learn to accept yourself and the things that are going on in your life. It's all about your state of mind. So accept yourself. Uh, I know I like to talk about, you know, each tip sometimes seem like you say I'm saying the same thing because I want you guys to get it. We have to accept ourselves. We have to accept ourselves and accept who we are. In order for, for you to be able to live in your reality, and accept it you have to love yourself and love each and every part of yourself from the top of your head to the better sole of your feet you have to love yourself you have to love yourself come into an agreement that your body is not perfect your attitude is not perfect but you're striving to become a better person so that's what it is when you're trying to face your reality you facing your reality that yes, um, I do. I am not. Um, I, I I do have. You know, yes, I'm not the prettiest person in the room. No, I'm not fine as a wine bottle. No, I'm not. No, I mean fine as wine. I'm sorry. You know, but you love yourself because you know what, uh, a pretty face and a body can lead. But your attitude is in your character what stays. I have said that previously before. You know, you can be the prettiest, baddest woman in the world, or man, finest man, or have the greatest man, have the muscles and all that. 
but you can have a real ugly attitude and very disrespectful person and they'll turn pe people genuine people not people that is looking for someone to as a arm candy they looking for someone to be with so if you have a real ugly nasty attitude he'll turn them off to them and then you'll be missing out so learn how to accept yourself or learn how to accept yourself in all the things that are good and all the things that are negative but know that you are worthy you are worthy and accept that reality it's like sometimes we don't know how to accept the fact that hey you know i ain't gonna be small i no matter like some people they don't like being dark skinned i'm gonna be honest some people bleach their face and you know like they said god created us all in his own image so if you came out to be dark skin and you bleach your skin that means you don't accept yourself you don't accept your skin color so accept yourself accept whatever it is that is not pleasing to you accept it accept it and some people may not agree with what i just said and i understand that and i respect your opinion so please respect mine if it you know but if it's something about yourself that you don't like, yes, it is ways of having surgery and things like that to try to help it. But you still, you still go after the surgery, you still going to feel like I know people that has had weight loss surgery or whatever. And they still feel like the three, four, 500 pound person that they were. I'm going to be honest. So you have to have a dip when you're doing things like that and, you, and you're changing yourself, have that mindset, change your mindset. Don't still feel like that 300, 400, 500, or that ugly person that you think that you are. Change your mindset. Um, the second thing, the second thing is acknowledge your reality accepting your reality is not an easy thing to do but to accept your current situation can make you happy in your present life which will lead you to a better future being understanding accepting and working with your reality is both practical and purposeful acknowledging your reality will help you choose what you want to do in the future wisely and will help you accomplish those things so acknowledge your reality acknowledge your reality acknowledge that you're not perfect acknowledge that hey me my 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 reality is i'm gonna acknowledge that i am a single mother and i probably will be raising my children by myself that's my reality what's your reality what is your reality some people are scared to face their reality but you have to acknowledge it to or in order to make your future better now i can't i'm not going to say that it won't be a uh, individual that come into my life and want to be a part of me and my children's life and help me raise my children but i know it right now in this time in place my reality is I'm a single mother with two children and I'm going to have to raise my children by myself. So that's my reality and I am facing it and I acknowledge that, you know what I'm saying? It's, no, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. And, um, but I am going to do the best I can. So my, I can have a good future and my children can have a good future. That's what you have to look at. Uh, hey if you're going through a divorce right now acknowledge the fact that hey this marriage is ending this marriage did not work for me or that other person but that does not stop me from moving on with my life that marriage just was we that marriage is gone or that relationship is gone acknowledge the fact that if you're having um your reality is that you're you're going to be um that you're pregnant by someone you really that didn't really love you acknowledge that acknowledge that you will have children by somebody 
that didn't really love you and that was using you. Acknowledge the fact that you have been physically abused and it's hard to walk away. Acknowledge that. Acknowledge your reality, guys. Acknowledge it because once you acknowledge it, you'll be able to come to peace with it. Like it's like like I read it, it you'll be able to come with, to peace with it. I know that it ain't easy to come to peace with situations, and it's and you you know you you feel some kind of way because it's hard to acknowledge that these things really you really allowed these things to happen to your life because some people may feel this is my life. This is what I'm dealing with right now. Yes. What are you going to do about it? Ask yourself, what is your reality and what is you going to do about your reality? It's, it's, it, it, it is mind-blowing how people will try to cover up, try to cover up because they don't want to live in their reality or live in their truth, so they try to hide it. But one thing about it, you can't hide the truth, baby. And 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 one thing about it, if uh, your reality, you just got to face it. You got to face it and own it. You really do. Um, because um. Because like like it says, if uh, acknowledging your reality will help you choose what you want to do in the future wisely. So if you made a not so wise choice by being in a very tumultuous relationship or a job that wasn't worth dealing with or wasn't giving you that you thought was going to be worth your time, but really wasn't worth your time. Accept that reality. Accept that reality. But what are you going to do to change so you can change your future? Acknowledge your reality. Accept it. Accept that this is my reality. I know that I can be better than this. That's what you have to say. Acknowledge it. Okay, the third thing is don't let your fear get in your way. Don't let your fears get in the way of accepting your reality, especially when someone thinks or someone stands in your way. You must be able to do things in a unique way, which is the best thing for you. And then you can reflect on the things that were said. So don't let fear get in, don't let fear get in the way of your reality. Don't let fear get in the way of your reality because of what you're or, or uh, because you're scared about what someone else says or someone standing in your way. Move them up out the way. Let them know this is my truth and I'm going to stand on it. This is my reality. You don't have to accept it, but this is my truth. This is my reality. This is something that I am facing. Are you going to face it with me? Are you going to accept it? But right now, this is my reality, and I got to face it. Some people, they want to just judge you for it, but you, you're, trying, you're trying to come to peace with your reality and try to focus on it so you can make whatever best decision to try to better yourself as much as possible um it's so we i'm be honest i'm one of those persons i'm always worried about what someone else has to say about the decisions that i make about my reality and i have to realize i need to make whatever the best decision that i can and if some people don't understand it then they don't have to because they guess what it's not their life it's my life is my reality. They need to focus on their reality and the things that they need to work on. I just realized that, like, we need to focus on our own reality. Focus on your own. Because, and never be ashamed of it. Never be ashamed of your reality, whatever it is. Because 
when you when you are not ashamed and you acknowledge it, you come to peace with it, and you know that in in do if there will be a change. There will be a change. You just have to just keep working towards the future and make whatever the best decision you can to make your life better. Um, that's the whole thing with people. Um, they can point out your wrongness or what you're doing wrong and this and this and this and that. Some people are good at pointing out other people's and their shortcomings, but can they point out their own? Don't be that person. Don't be that kind of person that pointing out everybody else's issues, but you're not pointing out your own. I um I I I had to learn that myself. Like, you know, it's like you be so ashamed because because you you be wanting people to not judge you and that you uh you just going through and some people just not not trying to understand they just looking at from the outside they on the outside looking in but you know in your heart um you know in your heart that you this is your reality and you want it to change so make sure you guys are not living in fear do not be afraid of facing your reality i understand that if it can become overwhelming overwhelming i understand that it can become overwhelming and you don't know who to turn to but just just if you have to just pray and ask god for help with dealing with your reality then do that god like like i said earlier god will sit will listen and say nothing while you're praying but he will i'm gonna be honest he will give you he will speak to you and show you things in different ways the fourth thing is um let go of biases don't get yourself caught up in life you think you won't um or supposed to have but work on creating the reality that you are supposed to have your biases can make you blind to any kind of reality you can try to not pay any mind but they will not disappear. What you will need to do is learn to understand them and let them go. So don't get caught up in what you think. You know how we have dreams and aspirations and you be like, well, this is how my life should have been. Um, and this this is what I, 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 I supposed to have this and I supposed to have that. Stop thinking like that. Stop thinking like that and just accept your reality accept your life for what it is accept your life for what it is right now if you want to change you have to change your mindset enough to know that if i want a change i'm gonna have to be about that change but i'm gonna have to face my reality right now and if i if, if i acknowledge my reality and not be ashamed of being in my reality then um then I'll be able to live in my truth. That's all what it's about. It's just reality. It's just living in your truth. Whatever it is. Don't be ashamed of that. Don't be biased. Do not be biased. If you know this, this, this how your life is supposed to be, you know how you want your life supposed to be, you going to have to work at you, ain't nothing is you're gonna have to work at creating that and working towards that you can't you can't automatically think that it's going to be handed to you you cannot automatically think um that um 
that your life's supposed to be perfect and that you're supposed to you supposed to be just in a place where you're in happy and you you're supposed to be happy in this and this and that but that's not really your reality that is not really your reality but if you want to be that work towards that build yourself up to know that um okay um the fifth thing is identify your part to fully accept your reality you will have to acknowledge the good and bad part you play in where you uh, and where you're you getting where you are to fully accept your reality to fully accept your reality you have to ask yourself questions related to your situation and make a plan on how you can make them better to accept full reality to accept full reality it is important for you to accept what you have done to call your to cause yourself to have success or failure um okay so identify your part and identify your part in your reality identify your part the good the bad and the other identify like i am the one that created this but what am i going to do to change it? acknowledge that identify your part you played into your demise or your the the situation the the divorce or your marriage ending or the the job losing your job or um me being a single mother identify your part and accept the full full responsibility for it don't just always put it off on that person don't always put it off on that person because guess what you didn't create those you know what i'm saying they weren't the only one that kept created that you that these kids they you um that person wasn't the only one that um caused the marriage to end or uh no longer wanted to fight for the marriage sometimes uh you can have we can be with people that didn't that god was that god was trying to remove you from but you kept pushing yourself upon that person because you were so caught up in wanting to be with someone. But God was showing you the reality of who that person was, but you would not accept it. So you got caught up in the situation and you had two children by somebody. That's who I'm, I'm talking to me. I ain't talking to nobody else but me. And you got caught up in the situation now that your reality is. Your reality is that you will have to take care of these children by yourself. Don't try to force someone to be a father, mother, or anything like that to your child. If they don't want to be a part of their life, just go ahead on. That's my reality. That's someone else's as a single mother reality, single mother, single father reality. We can sometimes be with people. I'm going to be real. Sometimes we can be with people that don't deserve us and we get caught up in their feeling and we end up putting kids in a situation, bringing kids in a situation, in a tumultuous situation, toxic situation. So we that's why they say you have to be careful who you have kids by. But see, no, we wanted that man. We wanted that woman. And see, two kids was created that's my reality what is yours um with a demise of a relationship um that person was showing who they were but you and you just kept accepting them back kept accepting them back kept accepting them back they kept doing things to in the relationship but you just kept going after them because you wanted that man you wanted that woman so bad 
now that you have them, now that you have them, you see that, you know, and you don't like some people, they, they think the grass is greener on the other side. So they go and they leave something good and they realize they left, they left good and then went to worse. I'm going to be honest about it. I'm going to get down to where we live. Sometimes we have left something good to receive. You think um, it was um, it was this movie. Um, it's by Tyler Perry. And I forgot what it's called. But this, um, um, it was the very, it was something about the, Mar Amer the life of a marriage council or something like that. I'm going to get... It's something like that, but okay. So she, uh, she had a husband. He was something like a pharmacist. He, you know, what I said they were young and love got married early. You know, he might have forgot. Yes, he needed to acknowledge the fact that he forgot her birthdays and he took her for granted. And she, she needed to acknowledge the fact that she wanted, she wanted to be successful so fast that she gave herself up and looked past her husband for this man that was that had a lot of riches and a lot of glory and can give her whatever she wants. But she didn't know his reality. What kind but but when she got with that man, she she realized what the reality was. Let me tell you, he was abusive, controlling, he did drugs. That was his reality. So and then in the end, she received something that she, and, and you know, she received something that was detrimental to her. She had got, I think she got HIV. And she couldn't, you know, then her and her husband divorced. She wanted children. I know they wanted children. Her, and then guess what? Her reality is she would never be with that man ever again. And this man with another woman living a happy life with a child. That's the reality she had to face for stepping out on her marriage because she wanted some man with money. She wanted a man that can give her whatever she wanted, but she didn't know. She didn't know what she was leaving because she thought she was leaving him for something better, but it wasn't. So let's open it. When, you, when you're stepping out on your wife or when you stepping out on your relationship know that sometimes that grass ain't green on the other side open your mind and open your mouth I mean open your mind and recognize some realities you don't want to miss out on something good because of what somebody is offering because let me tell you something they can have all the riches in the world and could be something within them that's not right I know this ain't got nothing a lot to do with reality, but I'm just trying to keep it real to get down to where we live so we can understand where, where y'all can understand where I'm coming from. Think about it. You you stepped out on your marriage, your husband divorced you, and um and it was another Tyler Perry movie that I got a couple minutes here. It was a another Tyler Perry movie that came out. With Taraji P on there. And okay, she believed in that man. She couldn't have no children because he was cheating. And she got, you know, she used her truck, her her rain, ranger, four ranger, whatever. She used that to knock over his his um his little house or whatever. And um she could she messed up and said she couldn't have no children. The family hated him. And you know her mom left her with money, and um, you know she never worked. She worked two jobs or whatever, and then you know he never would find a job and get himself together. So she refaced that reality. But then you know she let people get in her head. Her sisters get in her head, and what ended up happening is she left him because she thought that he was messing around with somebody, and she left him and divorced him. Okay, so, um, so he finally got that break that he needed. So he got that break that he needed, and then 
I think um, he came to her job and he, you know, he didn't have to, but he did. He gave her like, I think about 10 million. I might be wrong with the amount, but he gave her 10 million. And she could not believe it that, you know, he did make something out of himself or, you know, then he, you know, but what her reality was is that he moved on with somebody else. He named uh, the, you know, the, the things that, she, that he promised her, he gave to another woman. That was her reality. So when you don't, so take ownership. Take, identify your part. Take, accept it and take full responsibility to your reality. Just allow me a moment. Okay, so guys, we got one more, and I'm going to get out your hair. Um, make plans on reaching your goals. Take the necessary steps to create yourself a new reality. Create small goals for yourself that you can complete in a little amount of time. <clears throat> it helps you build your self-esteem and self-confidence up. Creating a new reality begins when you have a plan and you set goals and you and you uh, complete those goals. Always remember that you can create a good reality if you can let go of the old reality. So make plans on reaching your goals. Make plans on changing your reality. It all starts with you. You have to let go of that old stuff to get something new. Uh, I'm not going to hold you guys too much longer. Um, I am going to recap right quick. The topic was how to tips on uh, accepting your reality. The first thing is accept yourself, uh, uh, be able to accept everything about yourself, acknowledge the good and the bad. Um, the second thing is. The second thing is acknowledge your reality. Acknowledge your reality. Accept your reality for what it is. I know it's not going to be easy to do, but accept it. Um, understand it and work with it. Three, don't let your fear get in your way. Don't let fear get in your way of accepting your reality because you're worried about what the next person is going to say. I'm going to leave you with that. Um, four, let go of your biases. Don't get caught up on thinking how your life should be or could be or supposed to be. Work on creating a new reality that you're supposed to have and that you can create for yourself. The fifth thing is identify your part. Take full responsibility of your reality, the good and the bad parts about it. Um, ask yourself questions about the situation and make plans on how you in the future can make them better. The sixth thing is uh, make plans on reaching goals. So once you have accepted your reality, uh, take the necessary steps to Create new realities for yourself. Make small goals and complete them. Um, I hope you guys got something out of this. I appreciate you guys so, so much for coming on to this premiere. Um, I appreciate you guys. I thank each and every one of you guys for spending your morning with me. Um, you know, this, this is... Every time that I do these tips, it, it just enlightens me the more and more and more. And it teaches me, I, I learn things myself. And I hope I, you guys got something out of it because I truly enjoy doing this. Um, because we do need to accept our realities at times. And we need to stop trying to cover it up and be ashamed of our reality. 
no matter how good or bad that it may seem and how we may be afraid of what the next person going to say. But guess what? They have their own realities to face too. They're just too scared to, to face them. But they want you to face yours. But they're too scared to face their own. You know, so let's all be able to accept our reality. So guys, once again, thank you so much for coming. If you ever need to well first of all before i do that guys i want to give a big shout out to the tbt squad um that's me myself it's me wanston yes honey um the may ray kings yo it's your boy leo and let's talk about it with anita we all we all are the tbt squad i hope you guys have watched the panel that we did friday it may have been a little bit bad on the end, but I hope you guys got something out of the panel. We will be doing another panel in the next in July, sometimes in some in sometime in July. So we will be doing another panel, and we hope you guys come. Um, uh, the the links to the TBC squad will be in the description box below, and as well, guys, if you have not connected to my feature channel. My feature channel is The Real Shay Love. She is my feature channel for the month of June. And I always feature Tuber Chat because Tuber Chat is a great way of connecting to people. And Kevin K always showing support and always shouting me out. So it was so I have to do the right thing and just always keep Tuber Chat as a feature channel. Um as well, guys, if you ever want to contact me or anything like that. Um, to uh, you can contact me at mjjfamily2020 at gmail.com. It is a great way of contacting me. And if you want to, um, uh oh, I don't went blank. If you contacted me on Instagram, is a great way of contacting me as well, guys. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, you can um, cash at me at dollar sign JJMom18. Um, whatever you see in it is it, just a blessing, and I appreciate it so much. Um, I am going to leave you guys with this little message right here, and I hope you guys get it. Nothing is bad, good or bad, but thinking, thinking makes itself and that was said by shakespeare so guys we're going to keep the positivity mo moving and we're going to go to it's me once the yes honey channel and see about the positivity that he is speaking about today so thank you guys for coming um y'all have a happy monday and if you're going back to work have a great work week see you later